Hey everyone, welcome to Yawn's Viking Adventures during the lockdown. Um, hope everybody's okay, everyone's doing well. Uh, today I'm going to do a archery video, a bit of a, a test in the back garden. Uh, I will be standing seven meters away from the target, which is over there. And it's seven and a half meters or something like that. I just measured. Uh, I'm gonna be firing three different types of arrow. I have a long needle bot style bodkin that should penetrate quite well. I have a short bodkin tip. I don't think that's going to penetrate too well, but we'll see. And do well against male, I would have thought, but uh, I don't think it'll do too much against uh, padded armor. And then for a bit of fun, I've got a fire cage. Quite a nasty little point on the end of it. Um, again, I think it'll go between the links of the male, but I don't think it'll go into padded armor. The uh, I'm going to be shooting my reenactment bow, so it's not a powerful bow. It's a 30 pound ash bow uh, made by Mick Grucock. Very nicely of him made. I'll uh, put a link to the video he made of him making it in the description below, if I remember. <laughs> um, the target I'm going to be shooting at is just a piece of big piece of thick foam that I've been shooting at before. First we'll just shoot some gambeson-esque material. It's um, a thick wool blanket in between, sandwiched between some, some uh, linen. And then I've got some riveted some, uh, mail, steel mail. I'll shoot through that. And then we'll uh, put the mail on top of the uh, gambeson. And uh, we'll shoot both of them. It won't be tight, because uh, I've worn mail. Um, it's not. A, a tight fit to you so we'll just be there we'll be pinned in the corners four corners and we'll see how it does so let's uh let's string the bow and uh we'll shoot at the at the cloth armor first be right back with you so um first we will fire first arrow we'll fire will be the the short bodkin tip the second will be fire cage, and the third will be the the, the longer uh, bodkin or into the padded target. I never claim to be a great shot with a bow, but as you can see, they penetrate the foam nice and easily. It's only a 32 pound, it's only a 30 pound bow, it's a 32 inch draw. It's not the most powerful, but I am fairly close, being seven and a half meters away. And uh, you can see the impact mark, if you can see it on the camera. But, um, well, it definitely didn't kill you. So, uh, let's go on to let's go on to the fire cage. Oh, I 
again. No, that one hit right on that cross seam, like that. And again, just bounced off. And it's got a bit of give behind it, but it is fairly sturdy. Kind of a emulation of a, being a nice fat man like myself, a bit of pad in there, nature's gamberson. So the one that I think might is going to have the best will be the longer bodkin point. So let's uh, let's give that a shot, shall we? Same target set up, same distance, same bow. Let's go. Yeah. Well, that's a nice shot. I never caught that one, yeah, lovely. That one's uh, definitely skewered you. See the depth. Oh, it's nice and tight in there as well. Get a tape measure real quick. There it is. So that was a penetration. Went to my thumb through padded armour against a soft target. And we've got roughly roughly three just under three inches of penetration on uh, the Gamberson. So uh I think it, unless it hits somewhere like the top of your chest, three inches is a you know, good portion through your arm. Into your leg, it'd be quite sore. Chest, yeah. Might possibly be a lethal wound though. Right then, let's drop the padding. I'm going to stick up just male. We'll see how that fares, shall we? Do the same order, a short bodkin, fire cage, and then that one. Well, you know, popped it out. But there is no damage to the mail no broken links so uh might wind you but it's definitely not killed you let's go on to the fire cage Okay, definitely looks like it hit with more force. It didn't stick. I didn't expect it to because it widens out so much. And again, no damage to the male. No holes. So, the one I've got the most hope for is the, uh, the long needle-esque bodkin. Now again, this is in no, no way historically accurate. The bow isn't nearly powerful enough. And uh, we'll see, squishy target, arrows from different centuries, different design, just a test to see what damage you could inflict if you had access to these types of arrowheads with a light draw weight bow. So let's go and check out the, uh, 
the needle bobkin. Right, well that did exactly what I thought it would do. It has penetrated. You just get the old tape. It's knocked all four nails out. No surprise there. We had just under three inches of penetration on the gamson. So this is just male, no gamson. It's definitely gone in there. A little tape. This is now on the outside of the male. I'll take the whole lot out. And we'll take a bit of a closer look. Now the amount of penetration we got. Is just under two and a half inches, two and a quarter inches, and it has completely stopped on the ring. Now it hasn't broken the ring or split the ring from what I can see here, but let's pull it out and look. Or if I can. There we go. It, uh, it went between the one in four, right in the middle one, and it has dented and bent. Now, I don't know if you'll see that. All four rings have a dent in the, each one, top, left, right, and bottom. Now, I don't know if you can see that. I'll get behind the camera. And uh, let's see if I can show you. No, it's not. You can just see the little shine there. Oh, that. There. Just by my thumb, that piece there. what it's like on all four of them so it didn't actually break the ring it's uh it went as far through as it could with the point until it got too wide and just stuck so now then this one the cage and the shorter bobkin was defeated by the padding both of them didn't go through the mail although the fire cage would have probably given you a little prick without anything else but nothing major maybe a winding so uh let's see how mail and gamberson fair Now the male is there to stop from slashing attacks and the gamerson from crushing attacks although from what I've read a sufficiently thick gamerson can also protect slightly against slashing attacks definitely stops against these nails getting pushed through I'll be back. Right, well now we're, uh, oh hello cat. We're, uh, we're held together with some tape. We couldn't find anything longer to push it in with. So we're held up by some tape. I also found some, uh, some goat skin. Raw hide. And stuff that's used to face your round shields. So I thought I can 
pin a couple of layers of this up and we'll see how well the uh, the arrows penetrate that but at the moment we've got this oh, I don't think we're gonna have much luck with the others I will still give them a shot I think this one's gonna do the most damage I might have to reset every time this one's very securely though we'll give it a shot We have penetration. All right. Well, it's not gone in as far. It is in the foam padding at the back. But total penetration is tiny. Uh, definitely going to hurt. We got inch and a half of penetration through mail and the padding. It's not going to kill you from this bow, but it's uh, definitely going to sting. So let's uh, have rid of this. And can we say three layers? Or two layers? Let's go with two. Two layers. Fairly thick. This is goat. We'll try and hit it square on. Again, we use the same nails, the same arrow, sorry. If we can actually get the nails through, goes quite well, doesn't it? Oh, there we go. That one. That one. That one and that one. Now this is the same stuff I've actually got covering the shield I've just made. Just tried making a historically accurate shield it's made of planked wood glued together, faced front and back with this rawhide. So let's see if I'm actually a good enough shot to hit that three times in the middle. Let's go find out. Same short bucket, cage, and needle nose. Needle. dead central and it's ended up about I don't know what one two three four, four and a half paces away so it bounced clean off through the single layer Some good penetration. We got just over two inches. All right, set up again and uh, shoot the cage.
Bingo. Well, that hit hard. Tip penetrated. All the way through. But just up to the tip, look. Just up to the start of the cage. Never nasty wound it. I believe. Right, let's get it set up again for the last one. Okay, now I nearly lost the nail. I decided to tape it on instead. It's still the same two layers, but uh, it's just taped together now instead of nailed on. Uh, we've just got the needle blocking left. So uh, let's go back seven, seven and a half meters on the range and bring a few more. That's uh, not that deep into the fence, yeah, about an inch. There we go. Two layers of goatskin wide. As it come out the back, there. Yeah, have a look. Yeah. I definitely slowed it down. You saw I went straight through that and actually stuck into the fence a minute ago. Got some damn fine penetration. That's that word again. We have four inches of penetration through two layers of raw hide. Only thin. But, uh, it's Wastes itself in quite well. I don't know if you can see. Let's take this tape off. But uh, you can see where the wings, if you will, the the, the protrusions as the as the arrow gets thicker, have actually sliced through. Coming out easily. Yeah, you can see there. Dangerous. Wow. There's a piece that was behind it. Well, hope you guys had fun watching this as uh, as much as I have had fun making it. Catch you soon. Stay safe.